Hello everyone. I welcome you to another episode of my podcast series. In today's episode, I would like to share with you a story. This story is of Mike. This is a person that I had coached and I had closely worked with. So Mike comes from an academia background and he had worked real hard because he always wanted to get into a corporate but he couldn't really find good opportunities. Nevertheless, he did manage to find himself into a role within human resources department, HR, and he started as a recruiter. He worked very hard to his way up uh, in his career. And based on his performance, after three and three and a half years, he had an opportunity to work in the same firm in another department, which was of training and development. Mike took this opportunity as a case where he was very impressed with the job description and he thought to himself that it might add a lot of value to his career profile. And looking at the the scope of work and something that resonates with him, he took it up. But after joining the training and development department, he realized that even though the job description had a detailed uh, view of what the role is all about, uh, what exactly was expected out of him, the, the reporting structure, in reality, things were not as exactly as they are written in the job description. And uh, things were different. Uh, the culture was different. The way his role and uh, the powers he held, the authority he had, Everything was different, but still he thought, okay, let me kind of, there are always some differences uh, in the role description and what exactly in reality is. So with this thought in mind, he continued on. After a few months, uh, he wanted to get up to get himself trained and he again undertook some training, trained the trainer workshop so that he could be also a facilitator. For this, he had to try very hard because initially he was not given an opportunity. And then after six, seven months when he got one, he, uh, the supervisor told him that while he will be delivering his first training session, he will also have his colleagues in the same room where he will be training who would monitor him. This idea didn't really appeal to him. He was, but he couldn't say anything to his supervisor and he just, uh, he was more happy with the fact that he was finally facilitating something. And then he, um, the day came and he prepared himself really well. It was a four hour session and he went ahead with it. When he had his colleagues in the room while he started his session, uh, his training session was divided into two phases. The first two hours, then there was a break and another two hours. Uh, his colleagues stood there uh, monitoring him uh, for a few minutes, not really for hours, but for the first 30 minutes, I guess. And then they left. After they left, Mike delivered the session in a way which was way different from the way he started it. In reality, he did not start it well. He was conscious, he was nervous, which was natural, but then it also reflected his constant monitoring that he was being monitored. But after his colleagues left, he was kind of at ease and then he delivered and he, he ran the session so well that he got a very good feedback, except for the first part of the training where even the participants could read, could understand from his body language how conscious he became and how he was not really into the session. Towards the end of it, when he read through the feedback, uh, especially of his first session, Mike was happy, but somewhere deep down, he also realized there was something amiss. And therefore, there were many other instances also perhaps while in the whole preparation of the training, where he realized he uh, need to understand some of his blind spots, 
things that he does not know about himself and certain areas where we need some help which could assist us take the right decisions or maybe even say a no at the right appropriate time and therefore he came to me for coaching this is a scenario which i think is quite common in corporate work especially for those who just start off in any department and are not very much supported by their colleagues by their supervisors and they learn their way and make it but then this learning involves a lot of trial and error and what mike did the smart thing he did was he hired a coach which helped him understand and assist him to know where exactly why and where he was getting stuck what was it that was something not really um, in sync with what he exactly wanted to do where is it that he felt there was something amiss and when after you know a going through a very extensive for uh, three month coach program he reached out to me as well um not because he was not satisfied there he had a different issue there when i coached him this was very very specific and rolling him into one of my programs where i help people be more aware of their self which could be in the areas of knowing one's strength or one's weaknesses understand our values what value what matter to us the most or understanding our feelings and emotions and why we really feel that the way we feel or some limiting beliefs that hold us back so when he enrolled with me in one of my coaching programs we together been able to really carved a plan for for mike which helped him figure out many of the nuances of corporate world especially uh, when we know ourselves better it is it becomes a very powerful tool for us to really work through especially in our careers where there are multiple times where we might end up take a wrong decision there are times where we might not be able to say a no where it is really needed and there are times where we think something and the reality is something different this is something uh, that i wanted to share with you in this podcast i hope you also got to learn something a lesson or a two and maybe with your own experiences if this has touch a nerve with you do share your thoughts i will come back to you with more episodes stay connected and thank you so much for being uh, my listener for giving your time and taking the time to listen to this podcast if you have any feedback any comment or any topic that you want to hear more on do let me know and i will just try to uh, get uh, create an episode on that one thank you stay connected talk to you soon